Hello there, Steve O's, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Steve Official. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Netflix original series uh, called Final Space. Now, Final Space is a series that I've actually watched uh, this last week. I've managed to binge watch it all. And what can I say about this series? Well, this series is absolutely fantastic. There's two seasons. I do believe that season three at the moment is airing over in the US. Um, on the Cartoon Network channel called Adult Swim. Uh, they're best known for doing um, TV shows like Robot Chicken um, and also Rick and Morty as well. Um, so, yeah, if you want to give... Um, Final Space a watch, then two seasons are available to watch on Netflix right now, and the third season will be available uh, probably a little bit later on this year, maybe after the uh, series has finished airing uh, over on uh, over on Adult Swim in the US. Um, but what's my thoughts uh, on this TV series? Well, it's quite good. Uh, I'm not going to lie, they do have like a story arc um, in both seasons, um, and I think. Uh, obviously they've got various different characters um, and also as well they've got various different uh, voices as well um, like I'll give you an example they have got um, some special guest voiceovers like David Tennant for example um, they have also got Stephen Ewan as well who's um, famously known for playing Glenn in the Walking Dead series uh, so he also does a voiceover of a character uh, in that uh, TV series as well um, and basically Final Space uh, follows the adventures of this main character called Gary uh, we kind of find out um, in the first episode of the first season that he's been up in space in this kind of space prison as you will he's been there for about five years he's coming towards the end of his five-year term in this space prison um, and then he has to then uh, go out in space and um, He's basically saving lives while out in space as well um, because we see um, Avocado, uh, who's a cat, um, and, they, and they obviously rescue his son. Um, and then obviously later on in the series, I'm not going to give anything away um, much because I don't want to spoil it in case you guys haven't yet seen the series yourself and you want to go and give the uh, series a watch on Netflix um, then obviously something then happens to Avocado's son uh, uh, sorry to Avocado so obviously they rescue Avocado's son then something later in the series happens to Avocado um, and then they obviously need to try and rescue him and uh, bring him back um, and it's, it's just such a fantastic story uh, there's also kind of this sort of um love story going on between Gary and Quinn as well um so we we see that happening um yeah i mean to be honest it is an absolutely uh, fantastic series the animation as well is phenomenal um i would probably say it is uh, the same style is kind of well, it's got 2d animation mainly in it but there's a lot of sequences especially in the space scenes um we see a lot of um sort of 3d animation being used and it is just absolutely fantastic and phenomenal um especially when they have like shooting lasers uh, and stuff like that i've got to say that i do absolutely love the character mooncake as well which seems to be uh gary's kind of space pet if you will um and yeah it's just an absolutely fantastic series um if i was to give this a rating uh, out of 10 i am probably gonna say it's a 9.5 out of 10 because you know it's got a story arc it does keep you interested it does keep you engaged um in the series as well i was definitely engaged watching both series like one and two it's got a little bit of comedy in it as well it's not heavily funny um you know because it is quite a a serious story I guess you could say, but there is a little bit of light humour um, in it as well. So it is an absolutely fantastic series, um, and I definitely would give it a 9.5 out of 10. Um, and if you're going to ask me the question, would I recommend this uh, Netflix original series to my friends? Um, well, yeah, I mean, if you're into your animation... 
and you do like seeing some really phenomenal animation going on, uh, especially with the backdrops and stuff like that, then yeah, definitely this series is for you. Um, and I also, what I also do love about this series is the fact that we come across um, all throughout this uh, series this character called Kevin. He's this kind of robot um, companion for Gary um, on the spaceship. And sometimes he's one of those I like to annoy um, my my onboard companion as much as possible. And it's just funny how, yeah, they've got this kind of love-hate relationship kind of going on there, you know? Uh, like as if, you know... Kevin is there. He wants. He wants to have. He wants to give some love to Gary, but Gary hates him and just hates his guts. Um, and he has done. Ever. I mean, it does kind of go into the story of why Kevin. Uh, why Gary hates Kevin the robot so much um, in this. Uh, in the show, like it explains it in the first episode. That's all I can say on that matter. Um, so yeah, but it is just absolutely hilarious. Um, and I just love how all the other characters also treat Kevin the same way as Gary does as well from time to time. I really do enjoy that. It's kind of one of those scenes where where Kevin the robot is kind of like Meg from Family Guy. If you you know if you watch Family Guy. You know that everybody hates Meg in that series. It's kind of the same with Final Space and Kevin the Robot. Everyone hates Kevin the Robot. So there we go. I absolutely love it. Anyway, uh, if you have seen uh, Final Space, let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on that TV series. Uh, and that is all for today's YouTube video. So I hope you did, uh, did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a Stevo today. But from me, though, it's goodbye. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next YouTube video.